Hi everybody, today I'm going to walk through the key interface that lets dApps and crypto wallets actually interact with the Solana blockchain. And that interface is the JSON RPC API. Essentially, this API is a JSON interfaced API that every Solana node has by default. Now, not every Solana node will expose this API to outside users, but again, by default, every node has the capability of this API built in. Now, this API has a variety of different uh, methods that can be called. We're just gonna go over a few of them. So here we see that uh, the first one on the list is get account info. What this is, is you provide a string, which is the pub key of an account to query. And then there's an optional object, which contains fields such as a string to encode for account data, um, as well as a data slice, which is a essentially if we want to limit the returned account data um, using a provided offset. You can pretty much ignore that second bit for now. Think of it as you pass in a pub key of an account, and as a result, you get a uh, null if their account doesn't exist. And if it does exist, you get an object, a JSON object, which has a variety of data attributes, such as the LAM ports. The LAM port is the smallest unit of the SOL token, um, which is the number of LAM ports assigned to this account. You have the owner, which is a pub key of the program that this account has been assigned to. Um, if you recall, in Solana, every account has a program that owns it. Uh, you also have a data field, um, which is data that's associated with an account. Every account can have data associated with it in Solana. Um, you have an executable bool uh, value, which indicates whether or not the account contains a program. And you have uh, some rent information, because again, in Solana, every program has to have um, rent collected. So that get account info is one of the methods that's available through, through the uh, JSON RPC API. You also have functions like uh, get balance. So this allows you to pass in a public key and get the account balance uh, for the account that corresponds to that public key. You have uh, functions like get block, which gets some basic block information, get block height. Uh, let's see, we have, so if we scroll down a bit, we're gonna skip over a few. Uh, we have get block time, so returns the estimated production time of a block. Um, essentially what that is, is a estimated Unix timestamp. Uh, we have get cluster nodes, so this is going to return some information about uh, what nodes are participating in a given cluster. We have epoch information, which returns information about the current epoch. Um, we have get fee for message. So if we want to get the fee that corresponds to a message at a spe specified block hash, uh, we have get first available block, which returns the slot of the lowest confirmed block that has not been uh, purged from the ledger. If we go down further, uh, get identity, which returns the public key for the current node, because remember again, this API is running on a node. So whatever node is, uh, this API is called from, this will get the public key of that node. Uh, we have get inflation rate. So this will allow us to get information about what the current inflation schedule is for Solana. Uh, we have get inflation reward. So we can get the inflation or staking reward for some address or list of addresses. We have get largest accounts, which returns the 20 largest accounts that are currently on the Solana blockchain. Uh, we have get latest block hash. Uh, which is sort of self-explanatory. Uh, if we go down here a bit, we get get minimum balance for rent exemption. So if an account holds a certain minimum balance, then it can be exempt from rent, and this will calculate it and return what that value is. Uh, we have, let's see if we go down a bit further, what else is interesting in the API? Uh, we have get slot leader. So this will tell us what the current slot leader is for Solana. Um, if we do get supply, this will tell us about the current uh, supply of tokens. Uh, we have a variety of variations on this. Get token account balance. So for a given uh, public key, we can get the current token balance. Get token accounts by delegate. Uh, get token accounts by owner. Get token largest accounts. A variety of useful calls, especially if you're running a validator. Uh, let's see if we go down a bit more 
uh, get vote accounts. Again, more, more useful if you're running a validator. Uh, all the way down here at the bottom, we actually have simulate transaction. And this is a, a good one to know. Um, essentially, we pass in some information about a transaction. And as a result, we get back uh, some log messages of what execution uh, would look like if that transaction were to go through, as well as some potential updates to uh, state if we make that uh, choice in our parameters when we run simulate transaction. That's it. That's all I'm going to go through today. That is the basics. Um, the RPC API is wrapped in a variety of different interfaces. So some JavaScript libraries, Python libraries, etc. So anything that you're using, any way that you interact with the Solana blockchain, uh, you're probably going to touch on this, this API in some way. You may be using it directly via the JSON API. You may be using a wrapper that's inside of JavaScript or Python. But when you see that now, at least you'll recognize that whatever function calls are exposed in that interface are going to be just the same functions or a subset of the same functions that are already provided here in this JSON RPC API. Thanks, guys, and I'll talk to you next time.